Well, thank you for making it back for the third and final task. Um, okay, not everybody gets this far into it, so <laughs> thank you for coming back and listening to me. All right, so we're on to the synthesis task. Uh, my advice on this is simple and difficult. Okay, it's simple because um, I think you can answer this if you've read the text, but it's difficult because you need to look at all of the both texts really to be able to answer this. But you can do it, okay? Please don't leave this for like two minutes at the end, thinking, oh, it's just a little gap fill, I can do that quickly, because really you can't, okay? You need to be looking at both texts and taking information from both of them. So this is not, it might look easy, but it's really, you know, you need to give this some good attention. All right, so let's think about this one example. All right, so what have we got? We've got one paragraph here and one paragraph here. So why is it organized in this way? Let's look at the first sentence. Trade has played an important part in the histories of both Morocco and Egypt. Okay, so this isn't saying very much. I mean, it's, it's giving us the idea that we need to look at both texts. All right, but it's organized in two paragraphs for a reason. And let's look at why. So I'm gonna quickly skim over this. What do I see? The Egyptian, recent Egyptian period. Egyptian, yada, 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 Egyptian. Okay, so what's this telling me? Okay, so question one, mention of Egyptians. Question two, mention of Egyptians. Question three, another mention of Egyptians. So, this paragraph might be only about the Egypt text. That's what I think, and that's how I'm going to try and do this task. Therefore, oh look, paragraph two, Morocco. Morocco, Morocco, Morocco. All right, that sounds nice if we say it again quickly. Morocco, 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 Morocco. So yeah, all right, that's helping me to think, okay, I was probably correct about this. This is all about the Egypt text, and these examples are about Morocco. So let's approach it like this. And one thing I like to do with this is to look at the gap and try to make it into a question. Then I look at the text and try to answer that question. So what have we got here? All right, the Ottomans established a... Okay, so question, what did the Ottomans establish? which secured a large portion of wealth from tributes. Okay, what did the Ottomans establish which secured a large portion of wealth from tributes? So that's our question. That's what we need to go and find in the text. So let's just do this one as an example, okay? Ottomans, what did the Ottomans establish? Oh look, they established a formal administration securing a portion of the country's wealth all right, so that's what they established. So what did the Ottomans establish that secured a large portion of wealth in tributary payments? Okay, so by making it into a question, it's helped me to find the answer. All right, let's try and do another one. Okay, products. Egyptian merchants became successful in trading certain products, in particular, mm, and this is the name, a type of product in which they almost monopolized world trade. There's that word again, monopolized. Okay, so we need to find the name of a product. All right, here's my question. What product did Egyptian merchants almost monopolize in terms of world trade? Let's have a look now. Remember that question? All right, they who are they? Oh, Egyptian merchants, that's who they are. So Egyptian merchants held a virtual monopoly of the world trade in coffee. All right, coffee and sugar, if you write both of them, that's not right because it's only coffee that they have this monopoly on. All right, so there's your answer. Okay, how's it going? I hope this is helping. All right, number three. Who were the biggest users of the newly opened something? Okay, so the British shippers, who were the biggest users of the... Mm, eventually led to British Army occupying the waterway. So, 
this and this, then, yeah, this okay the waterway is a synonym for what, what this is so which waterway did British shippers use more than anyone else oh hey here we go look at all this okay the Suez Canal okay a canal is a waterway okay especially the British whose shippers came to dominate canal traffic all right so if your answer is a canal then which canal okay you have to be specific and say which one so the Suez Canal all right so let's take a look at that so that's the Egypt text now let's look at Morocco all right Morocco's success as a trade force dates back to the early years of Islam we might be able to find that in the text the early years of Islam when control of something and maritime trade were fundamental to the power of the state so control of maritime trade and what were important to Morocco's success as a trade force. Okay. Okay. Ah, origins of Islam, early years of Islam. The power of the state depended on its ability to control maritime trade and what? Trans Saharan trade. Okay, so Trans Saharan is your answer here. Let's go back now. Where are we? There we go. Yeah. All right, number five. When the Saidian dynasty took control of the routes in the late 1500s, Morocco enjoyed increased access to what? <laughs> That's an easy question to ask. What did it? What did Major uh, What did Morocco enjoy increased access to in the late 1500s? when the Saidian dynasty took control. Okay, so that's the question for number five. While we're here, let's look at number six again, because I have to scroll all the way down. The protectionist trade policies that Morocco had enjoyed became difficult to maintain, particularly after what treaty? So there was a treaty. Later treaties would increase involvement even further. So let's look at down the text at five and six. Not too far. Okay. All right. Ah, oh, look at this. Okay. Saidian control increased. What was it in the question? Increased access. Increased supply of. Okay. Gold and slaves. Gold is a good answer. Slaves is a good answer. You can write both of them. It's okay. And number six. Okay. Similar treaties with other countries followed. Europe, European trade group. Okay, so these were the later treaties. This is the one that's going to answer our question. Okay, so I hope that's going to help you. Look at the text. Decide quickly which text you think you need to refer to to find the answer. Okay, look at the organization of it. Two separate paragraphs, so we've got two separate texts. And then try and turn the gap into a question and then try to answer that question <laughs> all right um, thanks for listening I hope this was helpful for you please come back soon and I'll have made some more reading materials for you okay have a nice day bye bye